Hey everybody, it's Jade with Metabolic Effect wanting to talk to you today about the amino acid L-carnitine. Carnitine is an amino acid that really is required by the cells of the body and the mitochondria, the little factories that make energy in each of our cells. It requires carnitine to shuttle fats across the mitochondrial membranes to actually be burned. So the interesting thing is without enough carnitine in the body, you are not going to be able to burn fat effectively. And that's where L-carnitine uh, comes into play. Carnitine is an amino acid that really helps us burn fat. Now, one of the things to understand about supplements is that many supplements will not help you burn fat or do anything for you if you already have enough of them in your body. And carnitine is like this. If you have enough carnitine in your body and you add extra carnitine in, you probably are not going to get the fat loss effects that you're thinking. And this is what research on carnitine actually shows. And we can make carnitine in our body. Our body does this um, just fine. But in many people, it doesn't do it as well. So there are people who are carnitine uh, in need of carnitine. And that's when carnitine needs to be delivered. Really, uh, carnitine is one of these things that if you are someone who is a uh, under very high stress or has an illness you're dealing with, if you are someone who is uh, insulin resistant, obese, many of us you know, are dealing with issues such as that or have any kind of chronic illness, you may want to consider using carnitine. Athletes uh, may also want to consider using uh, carnitine. Carnitine can increase the lactate threshold. It can and has been shown in several studies to be uh, an ergogenic aid. And the other thing about carnitine is it is controversial. So for those of you who know, and I know many people that watch and pay attention to metabolic effect are highly educated in supplements. Many people understand and know, and the first thing they bring up is, hey, carnitine hasn't been shown in a whole lot of studies. There's inconsistent results. And this normally has to do with the fact that some people are replete in carnitine and some people are depleted in carnitine. And you can't really measure those individuals apples for apples because if you give someone who's depleted extra carnitine, they're going to do well. If you give someone who's already repleted or has enough, they're not going to see a difference. And so that's part of what's going on. We really like the use of carnitine for those who are obese and insulin resistant and having issues with thyroid and things like that. The way we dose carnitine is carnitine is another one of these nutrients and amino acids that should be taken in powder or liquid form simply because if you're going to take carnitine you really need to understand that to get the benefits of carnitine you need higher doses which makes capsules uh, unrealistic for most people so we sell a product here called pure carnitine tartrate powder and that powder what we do is we deliver about three to five grams per day in each quarter teaspoon of pure carnitine there is about 700 milligrams or close to one gram of carnitine. So you can see the dose there. What we're normally doing is we're dosing a half teaspoon several times per day. Now you don't need to rely on our product necessarily. Just make sure you keep a couple things in mind when looking at carnitine products. First thing is L-carnitine and D-carnitine are a what they known as a racemic mixture of amino acids. The L-carnitine is the active amino acid. The D-carnitine blocks the action of the L-carnitine. Why am I going through all this biochemistry? I'm doing it because most products out on the market which say L-carnitine are actually a mix of D and L-carnitine. So the D blocks the action of the L. So you're pretty much throwing your money away if you buy many of these over-the-counter products. So when you buy carnitine, look for the Carney Pure logo. The Carney Pure logo will tell you that this particular carnitine was made by Lanza, one of the only corporations in the world who has a patent to make pure L-carnitine. And you can be sure that you're getting pure L-carnitine, not the racemic mixture of L and D-carnitine. So that's the other thing you want to keep in mind. Another thing to uh, really kind of pay attention with carnitine is that you want to ramp up carnitine more slowly. Carnitine, like many amino acids, can cause some digestive upset in the beginning, but your body will quickly adapt. Another quick hint I'll give you with carnitine is a really great way to take carnitine. The reason we like it in the powder because carnitine has a very sweet lemony taste. And so you can make your own carnitine lemonade, which we like to do, which is basically take water, take some lemon juice, take a couple teaspoonfuls of carnitine, 
and then add uh, into that a little bit of lean, sweet, or xylitol granules makes a great and tasty way to take your carnitine supplements. So that's a little bit on carnitine and hopefully that's helpful for you.